Well, it's time to get started on making our Google Firebase database program. So first of all, we'll go to Google and search for the Firebase programming language platform. And so firebase.google.com looks like where we're headed. So if you haven't logged in yet, you'll probably need to log in using your Google account. And uh, you can use the same thing that you use with Gmail. Once you get to this main screen, we'll click Get Started. And then we will be coming to the part where we can see all of the applications that we've developed. And so you can see I've done a few already. So we're going to start with Add Project. So now we have to come up with a name. And let's call this thing Hero Maker. And our project ID we can leave alone. And let's call it the United States, where I happen to live. Create the project. OK, so now the project's been created. We have three options for what kind of platform we're going to build. We're going to use the third option called your web app. And so we'll choose this button here. It's pretty nice. They give us some copy and paste to get started. The uh, application key is unique to your program. And so yours isn't the same as mine. But all you have to do is copy this first screen. So let's copy here. Let's go back to our editor here. And uh, we're going to use the code editor, Visual Studio Code, and I'm going to start a new document here. Okay, so we're going to start with setting up an HTML document. I'm going to save it, and then as soon as I save it, it will know that this is our uh, format that we're using. So please go to your documents and pick a good spot to save your project. Create a folder maybe, and I'm going to call mine Hero Maker. HTML. So let's see, we'll do, yeah, so we have header and I press tab. How's this work? Head. If I type head, press tab, it automatically knows that I'm using code like this. Let's type in body and tab. Okay, so it looks like we're doing pretty well. So somewhere in the body, we're going to put in a comment of what we're going to create here. So this is going to be the uh, HTML forms. So we'll create some HTML forms. Then, then I'm going to move down a little bit and paste in my script. So this here is going to be our starter code. Now you notice what this code does. First of all, it has an object called config and it's automatically been created for us. So it knows where do we can get our database. It tells us about our app application and it calls a function called initialize app. So that's connecting our web page to the Google servers, and it's all been done by one copied piece of code. Now it's interesting. Let's go see what our database looks like and see how that works. So this is our database um, console. We could also just come back to here. This is probably the same, um, same URL. Let's go and click on the uh, database option and see what's in here. So it says here uh, we have a database, a real-time database. Let's see if we get started. So let's see what a database looks like in, in uh, Firebase. So Hero Maker is the root of our database. And if we hover, we can put a plus sign there and add a child. So this branch of the tree, let's call it our, let's call it users maybe. And underneath users, we can put our first person. Let's see, we got Bob. And let's see, anybody else under? We could put, um, we got, got Bob and Joan. And so then we could call this thing the uh, user ID. And they might have a number one. And underneath Joan, her user ID looks like um, she's going to be two. What other features might you put in a user? So you could put in things like your uh, login. Now let's call it your... Um, call it your age and this guy is 42 years old and let's say for Joan her age is going to be um, 33 so as soon as you click the add you can create a branch and uh, you can see it's that's a hierarchy thing so we can collapse these so experiment around with adding and deleting objects in your database simply with an X or a plus sign and you can add properties so I am going to delete the entire branch here and I get a warning that says you're going to delete the entire database which isn't a problem and we're gonna move on 
Okay, so the goal of our application is we're going to programmatically add and remove users from this database. Okay, now let's return to our code, our HTML code. In the header, we're going to have to have, um, we're gonna have to load some things. We're gonna load uh, jQuery and Bootstrap. I'm also gonna add up here uh, Firebase. So the, uh, I'm gonna move some code right away. I think that this probably belongs at the very top of the page. So I'm going to cut this and put it in the header. So before anything else happens, we're going to uh, load all of our necessary files. Okay, so we're going to be using Bootstrap, which is a CSS library, and jQuery and Firebase. So Firebase is done, we can say that's done. Okay, let's go out and find jQuery now. That's the first thing that I'm going to be needing. So to go find this, I'm going to search for jQuery. Now I want to find a certain kind of jQuery. I'm going to use what's called a CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. It allows you to link to uh, jQuery libraries without actually downloading anything. So this is the official website for uh, jQuery. And let's see, uh, let's go with um, the minified version. I'm going to select this here. I'm going to right click and copy. This button over here is supposed to copy but doesn't seem to work. So I'm switching back into my code editor and pasting. Now the next thing I want to do is load up some files for Bootstrap. So you might wonder, what is Bootstrap? Well, let's, Bootstrap is a nice way to format web pages. So Bootstrap is another library that saves a lot of time. Now, if you're not very artistic and you don't like to work with CSS, just go with uh, Bootstrap and they've defined pretty much every button color and menu shape and page formatting all pretty much done for you. So we're going to copy these two files here and put them into our code here. So I'm going to drop down menu and I want this HTML code. So let's click here. It says it's copied. Let's go back and paste and sure enough it looked like it says here we're, we're linked to bootstrap min. That's good. Now there is another JavaScript part to Bootstrap that we're going to need, so I'll click here and paste that in. Okay, so all the installations are done. Let's test out our application. Let's go down into our body and let's say, let's say ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to switch over to my Switch over to my file browser now. I'm going to find the folder that I was working on. And let's try Hero Maker. And sure enough, ready to go. Looks like it's ready to go. And you can see that the font on this page here is not the usual Times New Roman font. It is in the Helvetica format. And so that means Bootstrap seems to be working. Okay, so that page right there looks like we're done with all the initial installations of libraries. If you are ready to move on, we're going to do some programming in the next video.